What's good, YouTube? It's Shango's Hangout here, back with another video for all of you today. All right, we're going to be taking a look at one of my Christmas gifts here. We're going to be taking a look at Crosshair. Yeah, the Imperial version from Star Wars The Bad Batch. Man, he looks dope. Looking forward to this. I think I just quoted Count Dooku. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> Yo, he looks awesome. Can't wait to open this figure. This is a hard to get figure. I can't believe I got this. This is crazy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. He is one of my favorite Star Wars characters, like top five. Yeah, one of my favorite Star Wars characters here. Him, Captain Rex, Arc Trooper Fives, Mandalorian, Din Djarin, and Obi Wan Kenobi. Those are my top five favorite characters of Star Wars. Um, there's actually there's actually a lot more. I should say top ten, but. I'm just gonna list the top five for now. Um, but yeah, so one of my favorite Star Wars characters here. Um, just because he is a very greatly written character, complex, yet you can understand him. Well, at least I can understand him, but yeah. Um, yeah, just, just a great character. And like from, you know, when he was in the Bad Batch all the way till now, the Empire, like he is gone through a lot man and then like at the end of the season finale he tried to redeem himself but still you know the bad batch didn't want to take any chances which of course you know and like naturally like when you when someone betrays you and no matter what they do you you gotta be you know uh defensive uh no matter what it is you know until they can really prove themselves to gain uh trust again you know so yeah crosshair has gone through a lot in the show from yeah the Clone Wars all the way till now in the Empire. And it's just crazy that he's still loyal to the Empire, even though they did him dirty. And it's like, wow, what the heck? Like, bro, you either you're better off with the Bad Batch or doing your own thing, you know? Because yeah, like that's not cool. Like being done dirty despite how lo being despite how loyal you are to um the cause and everything, you know? So it's crazy. And another crazy thing about Crosshair is that he got his inhibitor chip removed. Like, what the heck? I don't remember if it was before or after Order 66, but he did get it removed. And so he did all that stuff willingly. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Mm. But yeah, so that's Crosshair right here. All right, let's take a look at him, shall we? Let's go. All right, here's Crosshair in his box right here. Looking pretty dope. Star Wars the Bad Batch, Crosshair Imperial. Now, there's already some issues with how he's packaged. Um, first of all, his helmet, um, his antenna is, like, starting to come out, his rangefinder. So, I don't know if that's how he's packaged or something, but, yeah. In the last Crosshair figure, um, his helmet was packaged separately, like, around here. Yeah, I'm not sure why they didn't do that, but it's all good. And then his pistol was also packaged separately in the last one but now it's like stored in his holster in there and now that one that's unfortunate because that's gonna come out warp but you can just fix that with some heat <laughs> um but yeah otherwise yeah he's just kind of packaged uh a little strange but it's all good though here we have a nice side image of crosshair here with his rifle i think it's called the fire puncher or something like that and that planet, I'm not sure what planet that is. Are those Z95 Headhunters? Yes, they are. Yes, sir. I used to have the Lego set of the Z95 Headhunter. But, uh, yeah, I sold it for some side money. And I regret that. Uh, now I want to have it again. But, fortunately, <clears throat> unfortunately, it's really expensive now. But, yeah, damn, I wish I never sold it. <laughs> but it's all good, though. Alrighty. He is number nine in the line. Let's see, I think number eight, is that elbow or something. I think it's Vice Admiral Rampart. Yeah. Then the next one, I think it's either Echo or Omega. It's one of those two. All right. And then the back here, we'll read the bio. Formerly a member of the Bad Batch, Crosshair's loyalties shift after his team defects from Imperial service. Committed to the Empire. Crosshair leads a few or a new squad of enlisted recruits. That's right, he leads the elite squad. 
which are basically him and the elite squad they're kind of like the first ever death troopers because as you can see in his design yeah you can tell like the death troopers were based off crosshair and the elite squad like you can see the helmet design and the colors like the green visor and yeah that's crosshair all right let's free him from his plastic jail all righty so small incision here flap out all right this is oh the little warning thing don't need that slide them out the lid the lid there he is all right oh oh the fun begins Anakin there. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let's see here. Crosshair. All right. Oh shoot, yo! Look at that. His antenna is like coming out. Yo, yeah. I'm gonna have to fix that. Okay. And uh, oh wait. Oh, his pistol's not warped. Oh, sweet. Okay, yeah, his pistol's not warped. Let's see. Yeah, no, it's good. I've seen some reviews of the Imperial Crosshair, and yeah, like, uh, their pistols come out warped, but mine's good. Sweet. All right. Let's get out his fire puncher. Yeah. There we go. And his backpack. Alrighty. And here's Crosshair, ready to serve the Empire, ready to lead the Elite Squad. Man, he looks dope. Now, as amazing as he looks, unfortunately, he has some inaccuracies. So, the obvious one being is he still has his point right here on the shoulder pad which that was actually one of my favorite things about crosshair like he just has this point right here on his armor which i don't know what the purpose of it, it like what the purpose is but i think it's a pretty cool like feature on his armor i like it, it it's random but i like it. it's pretty cool um but unfortunately when he transitions from the bad batch to the empire yeah he actually doesn't have that anymore so yeah it's inaccurate but uh, I don't mind it staying on there, though. I mean, yeah, I know some people will probably, like, cut it off. But, like, for me, um, it's fine. It can stay. And also, not just the point, but the shoulder pads, too. He still has the Bad Batch shoulder pads, which you can see the 99 right there. You can even see it right there on the other side, too. So, yeah. Um, but it's okay. Otherwise, yeah, he... Besides the shoulder pads, like, yeah, he pretty much looks, yeah, accurate to the show. There's some reuse here and there. Actually, almost the whole figure is reuse. It just has, of course, you know, the new uh, body armor, new helmet, and a new belt. This is actually a, a new belt. It looks the same as the last one, just without, like, the, like, the harness thing. And one thing that this figure has, unlike the other crosshair, is that he has these like coin things on his on the back of his belt which the last crosshair didn't have so that was missing from the last one but this one has it so that's pretty good and yeah he looks yeah pretty nice figure um actually I actually have the other crosshair figure here so let's kind of compare them yeah there we go which looks better course i'm gonna have to go with the bad batch but this armor is really growing on me man they look good let's see i'm gonna just rotate the figures here so yeah as you can see with the belt yeah he has those coins he doesn't have it there so that was missing um otherwise this figure would have been 100 percent accurate actually another thing he's missing is the the white target mark on his helmet that was another thing that's missing so with those two things yeah he would have been 100 accurate 
but that's all good though. Alrighty. Crosshair. He has the same articulation as the last figure. So don't need to go over that. Um let's see. Oh, of course we gotta take a look at his head. Alrighty, there he is. The exact same head sculpt as the Bad Batch version right here. Now let's see. Yeah, the exact same head sculpt. But it looks like the tattoo he has is a bit darker than the Bad Batch version, so that's much better. All right, so, oh, looks like he's fallen from the battlefield. Whoops, there we go. So overall, yeah, that's Crosshair right there. Man, they look dope. All right, let's compare him to some other characters, shall we? Actually, before we get to the posing, I just want to point out that Crosshair, throughout most of the show, actually, um, he actually begins. Yeah, he becomes bald with scarring and burn marks on the back of his head due to being burned by the Benetur engine, by the Bad Batch. So it would be nice if we got a second head sculpt of that. Um, that would be nice. But then that would be a spoiler, though, since the figure got revealed before the before that happened. Um, but it's okay. Maybe we'll get uh, a third crosshair with that head sculpt later down the line. Uh, that would be cool, though. That would be cool. All right, yeah, I just want to point that out. Let's get to the posing, shall we? Here he is with Moff Gideon and the Death Trooper. Here he is next to Darth Vader and Grand Moff Tarkin. All three of them used to serve in the Republic, now the Empire. A random one, but here he is next to Heist Nebula and Infinity War, Captain America. Ah, uh, yes. Here he is next to his brothers, Tech and Hunter. Just need Wrecker. Ooh, yeah, surprisingly, they still don't have yet. Just because I actually had him pre order at GameStop, but they still haven't received it yet. So I'm waiting on him. And of course, next year, Echo. Yeah, I love this pose. Hunter slamming down Crosshair from their fight scene from the season finale. Yeah, that, that was dope. But I, I love that fight scene. Yeah, I did it to the best of my abilities, so it's something, it's something. Overall, Crosshair, an amazing figure. I would give him a 10 out of 10, except, you know, he has a couple of inaccuracies, and he has the weird leg articulation with the knees. I have to twist them out and make it look straight. It, like, yeah, it's just a weird uh, articulation choice. I'm not sure what the designers were thinking, but oh well. But a great figure, great detail. Um, they did a good job with the figure. Um, yeah, um, it's going to be a challenge to find this guy. But if you can find him at Walmart.com, yeah, go ahead and pick him up. Uh, if you find him at Walmart, like at the actual Walmart stores, what the heck, lucky you. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, just keep checking Walmart.com. Uh, if you want to get him somewhere else online, just try to get him at a, a decent price, you know, a fair price. <clears throat> But yeah, that is the Imperial version of Crosshair. Alrighty. Thank you everyone for watching the video. And until the next one, take care. Have a good one. And Happy New Year's in advance.